Hey, this morning I was driving to work and I, the Lord, you know, showed me something. Um, so now usually I would be like driving over and praying or something like that, or just chilling or just in my mind. And, um, today I realized that I was trying to tell somebody something yesterday, something that was important to me that had happened to me. And at first I started to be like, dang, I wish my husband was here. That way I could talk to him about it and he would have listened, you know, but, um, then the Lord showed me that even your husband ain't going to listen all the time. He's not, you can't find your completeness in people. And then I was shown through that, that the best way to, um, the best way to tell somebody about your day is tell the Lord, even though the Lord see it, you know, go down for tip for tat. And you see every second of your day, it's still good to get in the habit of telling God stuff because when you start going through something, you telling God stuff. When you're happy, you telling God stuff about your day. You telling God stuff. You asking God to help you throughout your day, whatever. It's getting you accustomed to prayer with God because that's one of the benefits of Jesus dying on the cross for our sins. He died so we can have right relationship with God to teach us how to be, to teach us how to walk toward the way of the Lord. And then walking toward the way of the Lord, one of the benefits is where we can be intimate with the Lord. We can talk to the Lord. The Lord talks to us. It's an exchange. It's like an even exchange now versus before when we were in our sin, we can have no communication with God because God is holy and we were sinful. And we know that whole story. Um, there was no relationship that God had with us because God don't fellowship with darkness and we were in the dark. So after Jesus came and redeemed us and made us new, he down across our sins and made us aware we can have a relationship now with God because there's no, there's no sin in the way. Jesus took the sin away from our, our, you know, uh, our vision of God and God, I mean, God's vision of us. And now we can have a relationship with God. And one of the benefits of having a relationship with God is having communication with God, which is him talking to us and us talking to him through prayer. So we always want to get accustomed to pray and, um, you know, just make our day about prayer and always stand before the Lord in prayer. Even your, your most jacked up prayers, prayers, you feel like ain't got nothing to do with nothing. The, the prayers that venture off into something else, they start on one thing and end here. The prayers where you start happy, you end up crying. The prayers where you start crying, end up happy. It's all like about having a relationship. If you, if you're in a relationship with a person here on this earth, you're going to have those same conversations. Um, but the only thing with the conversations with the people here on earth is they really can't help you. They can't really see you through. They can only hear with your side of the story and go off of that. But God knows every side of the story. He knows how to heal you. He knows how to deliver you. He knows everything you're struggling with. He knows the way to get you through it. He knows that hit you. We know that in our weakness, God's strength is made perfect. So he perfects us day by day through the strength that he gives us um, to make it through. So that's all I wanted to say is to um, when you... Like when I ain't had nobody to talk to or when I was talking and the person really wasn't hearing me, I, you know, was driving and, you know, kind of getting like, yeah, I wish my husband was out here because he would hear me. But no, that's, that's not, I don't want to make my husband all up high like this because he can't fulfill every need I need. But who can? God can. And who will hear everything I say? God will. And who will heal? My husband, I can talk to him all day, but he's not going to heal me in my inner man. Only God can do that. So it's best to talk to God. I'm not saying don't talk to nobody else but God, but make it a point. Make it a habit of talking to God and just engaging the conversation with him because that's going to really be what helps you. Um, and he's going to heal you. He's going to show you. If you were thinking wrong, he's going to show you the right way to think. And if you were thinking right, he's going to show, he's going to encourage you and let you know that you were thinking right and you were doing what my word says. So that's all I got to say. Bye-bye.